Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Seriously Podcast. I'm Brittany. I'm Mary. And if you're new to the show, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us here at Seriously Podcast. We give you all the tea on your favorite digital series. Yes, Yes, we have a lot of fun sharing our questions, comments, and concerns. And we, you know, like to have a few special guests pop in and out. Mm -hmm. But it's just really, it's a good time here. Good vibes, good energy when you come to Seriously Podcast. Yeah, so take a seat. You're not doing anything. We're in the middle of quarantine, so just join. We are, we are, okay, we just are. Join the squad <laughs> here over at Seriously Podcast. Um, yeah, and enjoy yourselves. Yes. And today we are continuing our um, recap of Bigger. If you're not already, please, please, please catch up. We're on episode five of Bigger. You can watch all episodes on BT Plus. They have a seven-day free trial going on right now and always have that going on. So make sure you take (laughs) advantage of that seven-day free trial. And I'm pretty sure you'll stay after the seven days because the content here is is pretty good. Mm -hmm. So today we have an amazing guest with us. Uh, We have the Tanisha Long, who plays Lane on Bigger. Welcome, Tanisha. Hey, everybody. Thank you for having me, Brady and Mary. You guys are hilarious. Um, I'm sitting here in a robe, and I feel so special right now. To be <laughs> We're so happy to have you. Like, you know, we eat Lane up on this show, but yeah. we do love her. Yes. Y'all be, y'all be giving her the business. Y'all be giving her the business. We're and just trying to understand her. Show, it'd be weird if you didn't, honestly. Exactly. <laughs> it'd be really fucking weird. Oh, my God, she's just great. I'd be like, what? <laughs> Oh, she be she be stressing us out. Yes, She's, man, could you imagine getting those scripts? Every I know. I I know. Like, what the fuck is wrong with her? <laughs> I love it. I love that I you're love on our it. side with this. I love it. <laughs> no, she's fun to play though because of that. I love it. Um. So before we get into the meat of the episode, we always like to ask our guests, "What's the very first web series that you ever watched?" Oh my god, very first web series. Jeez. Um. What was I was watching? Oh, this is stupid. We so we're gonna take it back to like old old school YouTube. Let's I'm do older it. Both, I'm sure. Uh-huh. Um, back when I was in college, there was this like cartoon, and it was to make fun of Dipset specifically, <laughs> and because he kept going to jail. So the the plot of every episode would be them him like getting into trouble and then going to jail and then they would just make fun of Dipset. It was very funny. It had many episodes and I would watch it with my friends. That's how Mm -hmm. I started watching. Is that the kind of, that's not the answer y'all wanted, but that's what (laughs) y'all (laughs) said. Just said, I'm not looking for that. that. Y'all don't want to hear that. (laughs) Truth on the clock. I never heard of that one, but it sounds like it was probably funny. I think it's still on YouTube because I was actually on set showing this to uh, Tristan and Chase at one point because they didn't believe mm-hmm. me when I told them it existed. And then we looked it up and they were like, what the fuck are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is your life about? It's really funny. It's still funny to this day. Okay, we're going to look it up. Yeah, look it up. Review yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> are you watching any web series now? Like. During your quarantine? How's your quarantine, by the way? Uh, my quarantine's been stressful. Um, the the bright spots of it have been um, just doing press for the show, which has been great because mm. it's gotten such a um, positive. I feel like this is the fifth wave of people being like, wait, this show exists? Because <laughs> really right. a lot of people were weary of watching it for some reason. And we're not, <laughs> I'm not, yeah. So people didn't weren't really like, you know, checking for it. And now everybody's very checking for it. And it's very flattering because we all work so hard on it. And, you know, we love mm-hmm. it. we're so proud of it. So that's been cheering me up a lot. Um, talking to my friends has been great. I have not been watching a lot of web series. I've been watching a lot of trashy TV because I just need something that is like... <laughs> Oh, I've been watching a lot of 90 Day Fiance. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just finished Girl. watching the episode. Yeah, right. watch the episode. I need to see what's going on with Yolanda. I feel so bad for my kids. Do oh you? Oh my god. No. No, no, no. I don't no, feel no, bad no. for none of those old people. Yolanda mm-hmm. is a joke. I feel bad for David. What? I feel bad for David. Why? I feel bad Why? for David. Why? Why? <laughs> because he was talking to the girl for seven whole no, years. No, chatting, and chatting with the girl, pain. chatting with the girl. Yes. There's a difference. There's a difference. You're he right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. 
Oh, you talking about the deal with Lana? I can't wait to see what happens with that. Mm-mm. I don't feel bad for him at all because he was looking for a young tenderoni, and there you have it. Okay, that's why I feel bad for none of them. Little none of them just trying to exploit people, mm-hmm. and then when they yeah, yeah, back, yeah. they be mad, and I be laughing yeah. every time. Me too. Laugh my face <laughs> Every time. No, Ed's storyline crack me up. I love Ed and his no neck <sighs> self. He's so rude so to her. Gonna drop him. So I'm rude. waiting for her to kick him in the throat, like, for real. Yes. She always <laughs> looks like she's about to hit him at yeah. any moment. <laughs> You sick of Rose is a vibe. She'd be like, yo, for real, like, I don't even need to talk to you. Like, right? Yes. Talk about, can I get a Halik? I love it, I love Halik? it. Halik? No. <laughs> Halik! Oh, my God. <laughs> God <I guess>. yes. <laughs> yes, that's my show. That's what I've been doing, y'all. That's just the vibe over here. I, I actually need more. One of the reasons why I was like, oh, this is great that I found your podcast is I was like, I need more web series to watch. Yes. Um, gotcha, got- well, we got them all for you. Okay. We got them all. I'm going to go back after we finish with Bigger and I'm going to go through and see all of them. I need to watch Terrence's. I'm a butthole. I haven't watched Giants yet. And he wanted to Oh, oh, so oh good. that's a good it's one. So good. Yes. He's also in um, Wade's World. That's good too. Oh, dope. Terrence be working. Mm-hmm. He's out, he's he out here. Working. I ain't mad at him. <laughs> um, so let's get into Bigger. So tell us about how you got onto the project and what drew you to the role. I, um, as, as I often get things just via audition through my reps, which is cool. Just like, it starts off as just an email. It's like, uh, here, this is in case you want to do it, give it a read, see how you feel. And that they say, see how you feel, but they mean going on this audition. Like, cause I've definitely been like, <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> you ain't working three, three years now. What are you doing? Oh my god! Um, no, but this was one I immediately responded to and loved, and I, I like resoundingly, if that's how you say that word, uh, replied yes, and went in the next day and had a blast in the audition. It was so much fun, and I got called back in the room, which like has never happened to me before. And um, then brief discussion and uh, chemistry read, screen test, all that stuff. And then, you know, next thing you know, I had a job and I moved Yes. But yeah. Yes. Congrats. Congrats. There's a long version of that on my Instagram. If you want to watch, like, <laughs> years of drama I experienced just to get to this one job that completely changed my life. But uh, it's, it's been a ride, uh-huh. guys. A ride. We love it. We love it. And we love that the whole cast has, like, this great energy on screen. Like, how was it behind the scenes? Like, do you guys, like, crack jokes all the time? Like, what what is it about? So when we first got there, some of them got there before me because I was so broke. Like, literally, when I booked this, I had, like, $20 in my checking account. I was like, yo, I can't move to Atlanta. I need this check to clear, and the bank don't trust it because they've never seen me do this. (laughs) They were like, what's up with this relocation fee? (laughs) What's up with this? Literally, the teller, the bank teller, was like, "So how'd you get this?" <laughs> so I was oh like, my my business. thank you, my so much. business. Wrote like, on your bank. It's your bank's check. It was crazy. So they were all there for a week bonding. Then I eventually got there, and then we were all just hanging out all the time. We were getting food together. We were doing our own little table reads. Everybody's mad, chill, supportive. It was just really beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, and then once we started shooting, it just was like very natural because we mm-hmm. already all liked mm-hmm. each other and we already all had inside jokes and, you know, we were like eating dinner together on Sunday nights and all kinds of stuff. It was just, it was great. It was really refreshing to work with people who didn't have um, a bunch of ego or felt like they needed to compete with each other. It was just like, let's build this beautiful show together, like from mm-hmm. scratch. Like, and that's mm-hmm. a big thing to be handed a brand new series and be essentially not brand new actress. Angel is so seasoned. She's, she's been working like her whole yes, life. Yes. Yes. Um, she's been in the game for a minute. Exactly. And, and so I was always turning to her for like, cause I was like number one on the call sheet, which is a very different responsibility than I've ever had. Like you're in every scene, you're there every day. Like I had my only days off for the weekend. Like mm. every time I would get close to a day off, they'd be like, you got a wardrobe fitting or you have to do this <laughs> or you, and it was fine. Like mm-hmm. part of the job, I was excited but it was difficult. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Like, we're all essentially newer actors outside of Angel. Um, and, and it's like scary to start a brand new show and be new. Like I, I have, I've done a lot of TV work, but never as series regular. I did mm-hmm. a ton of comedy before. I've never had to play a character that had like this huge arc that went through 10 episodes of the show and, and like essentially carries the A story of the thing. So it, it, was, it, was, really, uh, it was really cool to have a cast like that 
to work with. They were just amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I love I love the energy. Do you have a friend group like them or like the cast like Lane's friend group? All my all my friends are girls. I like okay. dated some dudes that uh were really jealous of my male comedy friends, so uh-huh. I like lost a lot of them and they all actually live in New York. So now my core group is just ladies. It's cool. I like it. I, I wish there were more guys in it. Because, of mm-hmm. course, like, my friends from the show are cool. But they're, like, my friends from the show. Like, I can't tell them everything about my life. Right, right. Like, like, you know what I mean? Because, like, yeah, I, have yeah. them, I don't need them judging me. <laughs> we don't need that energy. Yeah, I mean, they know stuff, but they can't know everything now. Exactly, exactly. I, I wish I had some more guys in my friend group. That's what yeah. I would like. But the problem is, I like having sex with guys, so I feel like if I try to be friends with one, and be attracted, <laughs> I'm not gonna be my boyfriend. Like, right. what I that's the problem too. Every time I try to be friends with guys, they're like, you know what? Yeah, it's really cool. We can go, and then we they're like, we can not do it. That was dumb. We should have been friends. Why are we so sexy? Ah. <laughs> That was my question. Like, do you think like women and men can legit be just friends? Yeah. But it's always some someone always end up liking the other. Always. Yeah. This is the, gay. that's the thing. Eventually, I feel like, but I think also like some people are meant to be friends, and some people are meant to be romantic partners. Mm-hmm. And I think you just have to see to find that out. Yeah. Like I, I definitely I've dated people and have been like, Oh, we were such good friends and we dated and now it's weird. Yep. And I like there is there are like uh, probably like three guys like that I wish I could turn back fucking time on. Where oh I'm like, we were friends and I just had to put something in my vagina. And here we are. Here we are because I was like, Yeah, let's we're definitely a, gonna be a good couple because we're good friends and that doesn't really necessarily no. And I know why I know guys that have female friends that they don't have sex with and it's fine. They're like, Well, I'm not attracted to her. Right. Like, although I do like women. Like don't go making friends with people that look like your type, I guess. Yeah. You're gonna yeah. fuck them. You are gonna fuck like I mean come on. It's you're bound to happen. I'm never that good. I'm never oh, no. <laughs> sexy, no, but it's my friend. What are you talking about? That's my sexy friend. <laughs> Sexy. Too. Right. I'm gonna have them alone. It'll be fine. I'm not gonna catch any feelings. That's my friend. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nope. <laughs> well, speaking of sex, <laughs> when you <laughs> <laughs> wow, since you mentioned, so it. when you first got the scripts, were you concerned at all at of the different sex scenes that Lane had? Girl, I was fucking terrified of the sex scenes. That was. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, the way they're written in the script, it is porn. So I was like, no. Um, I wasn't mad, but... Uh. Right? Re- reading it and then shooting it is completely different, too, right? Wait, what? I got a what? I was like, what is where? And so the th- I-, I called my reps. Like, this was, like, right before the screen test. And I was like, about the possible nudity thing. Because that's what they they were like, possible nudity. It wasn't mm-hmm. usually when they, like, we- the lead has to be naked. Like nudity required. But really, it's up to you as an actor. They can't force you to do anything you don't want to mm-hmm. do. Right. Um, like, if-, if you agree to nudity, but then you're on set and something happens and you don't feel comfortable, they can't make you take your clothes off if the set doesn't feel safe. Like, there's there's protections in place now, especially because of everything that's happened all the Ooh. predators that are running rampant in hollywood um right. they really kind of make you feel comfortable so like i was uncomfortable when i was reading it in the script but like my reps were like they're not going to try to make you do anything you don't want to do and then when i got there we had i had a conversation with felicia who created the show and Mavon, and they were very like well what do you want to do like mm-hmm. what how do you want to do these sex scenes i literally felicia sat down with me and i and was like talking to me like drawing out I like sent her examples of sex scenes from YouTube um it was a lot of like like how do you feel like this should be done for you to for it to look real and for you to not feel like you're being uh exploited Mm, like that was a big thing so it was it's scary at first but you know you you find a way to make it work for you and for it to look real and it still looks real yeah yeah they actually had a question from a man who was curious on whether (laughs) Oh, you were interested in the nudity. <laughs> yes. No, I'm not. You never. Well, let me just ask this question. <laughs> at, hold on. 
at dance underscore health underscore fitness life says, would you ever film a full on love scene with that requires nudity or is that too far? He wants to he know. He wants to know. So, <laughs> like, should I keep following you on Instagram? Like, what's the like, that's the one. He was like, how do I ask? about her titties. Right, right. How can I put this in like, a Is she way? interested uh, at all at showing it at some point? They're really not that great, like, to be honest. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they're like, whatever. Like, you guys have seen them, they like them, but, like, me personally, I'm like, they could be better. <laughs> they're okay, they're cool. You know, they're cool. They're titties. They're they're D's. They're big. I get it. Um, so basically this is what I told my agents because we had this conversation about nudity after shooting this and I was like right now for me as like a young black woman I feel like me being naked would not serve a story in any way Mm -hmm. it would be for the male gaze Mm -hmm. and it would be kind of exploitative because why else do you need to see me naked like there's ways to shoot sex scenes that are still very sexy and I think it's not very sexy without seeing like a merkin and like my nipples right, and right. my boobs up and mm-hmm. down. I don't know what that way I don't need to do that. Now when I get to be like fifty or sixty, that'd be a different story. Cause that would actually be really cool. Yeah. It would just, like you never see older women in sex scenes naked. Yeah, only like Sex and the City. Samantha, that just, that's about it. The home girl didn't even look old. I'm talking about like, no. like, like, like Golden Girl. Movie. Like I mean like for real. Like we doing it. Like, yeah, we want to <laughs> see that. Is that what we're saying? <laughs> I'm putting that oh, in the okay. world. That's what I'm saying. You want nudity, you want full nudity, full frontal nudity from women. Like, you need to, we need to see that. That's what I'm saying. I'm still <laughs> pushing for the males, which I appreciate it. And, which oh, we get. Yeah. I mean, we got Reggie yeah. full yeah. on in that morning. I mean, they're we always got pushing that. for women. We need to be pushing for more males to be showing it. Yeah. You watch HBO. I mean, they got nothing but the wiener over there. That is. Yeah. <laughs> I watch Westworld, and I'm like, what? how many dicks are on this show this season? What? I don't watch There's that. No tiny. Is that good? It's just like Westworld's yeah. incredible. <laughs> you said this little yeah, tiny. Like, I'm done. Eh. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! I hope none of those actors fucking. <laughs> right, <laughs> like, okay, it's <laughs> day. <laughs> oh my gosh! So, okay, so back to Lane. What do you hope you would learn from Lane at this point? Like episode five, who who Lane is at this moment? What are you hoping people are learning from Lane? Oh shit! Um, episode five. I feel like. Episode five is Lane at her most. What the fuck are you doing right mm, now? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. it's very yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she got kind of tricked into this engagement party. <laughs> then she didn't ask for that shit. She just ended up there. And instead of using the opportunity to be honest, <laughs> she Usual used Lane more crazy. Uh, it, and kind of like do revisionist history on how she feels about Greg in their relationship. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and which later is to her detriment in, in two ways, which I won't spoil in case anybody okay. hasn't watched mm-hmm. it yet. Okay. Um, but wait, do you guys, you guys spoil, so I can spoil. We don't spoil. She's not being honest. And Greg can feel everything that's happening, and then all of a sudden she's like, you know what, I can fake it for the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Greg, I'm mm-hmm. wearing a yeah, sweater. And Greg's like, no, nah, I'm not here. Nah. Right. Nah. I'm not doing we're not doing that. We're going to get you on up out of here. And then <laughs> she goes to Reggie's house and is trying to make him act like the main dude. And he's like, no, no, no. That's not my job. He doesn't understand. Exactly no, no, he doesn't no. understand what's happening. Why are you here? And then we're supposed to feel sorry for her at that right. point. And I just- <laughs> we don't. Oh, that's what we were supposed to feel. You asking for a lot right now, lady. You asking for too much here. <laughs> Nah. Take, a, take a drink or take a chill. Go to therapy. Uh, yeah, you know, that's that's the point where you're like, the next episode though is wild. So yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's get into episode five, the Gregs, and let's let's dig deep into this episode right now. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Greg surprised Lane, and Lane has no chill or filter. She's like, "This better not be another sex shop because my vagina feels sore." Too much information. Too much information. 
to enter her knowledge, to not her knowledge, is a room full of family and friends. So talk about embarrassing and awkward. Mm-hmm. All all of the above. Um, so it's a surprise engagement party. She and then Lane pulls her crew to the side and she's like, I hate all of you. Like, why would you let allow this to happen? Right. They were like, We don't even want to be here ourselves. Like, don't <laughs> you forget that we do not support this. Can we take a minute to acknowledge how Lane has been to Greg's speech, uh, dating for quote unquote almost a year and she's never met his parents, but he thinks that she has to marry him. Yeah. Just, yeah. Greg he, is different. Like he never met her parents. They right? both haven't met each other's parents, right? They both haven't met each other's parents. I thought parents. they knew. Oh, oh, I guess she, because I felt like she knew everything about the family. I guess she knew about it, but she never met them, right? No. Yes. Okay. Yes. Got this you. The first time she's over there dealing with their whole So he had his okay, whole gotcha. family there. Her family's nowhere to be found. And just nowhere. Like her nobody. little five friends. That's it. And it's like. That's it. Sir. And that's acceptable. That's acceptable to him. He's delusional. That's acceptable. Right. Like at first, I would assume you would meet the parents first. Like, oh, just a one-on-one dinner. Let me get to know you. Let me introduce you before a full full on engagement party. Like what? Yeah. I will say he did Greg's he did call Greg's mom. No, uh Greg did call Lane's mom. Yes, he did. And we're gonna get into that. He did. He did. So Greg's mom, she pulls up with these matching sweaters. Um and the friends are clowning her. They honestly they love to see it. They love to see <laughs> Lane struggle. Struggle. They love it. It's bringing them so much joy. But um, really? yes. And then they're even talking, and Greg's sister is just standing there in her pajamas saying nothing. I'm like, oh, okay. So this is why the mom does not want to claim her. Like, yeah. The sister is giving me like Jordan Peele movie vibes. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, yes. get yes. out. That's what we were doing. Yes, I got that. Yes. I definitely got Jordan that. Get out energy. Yes. And us too. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> right. And Lane's like, listen, don't ask no questions. So the friends all walk away because, like, that's all we have is questions. That's really the theme point. of the whole episode. <laughs> I'll ask no questions. <laughs> That's the theme. So ask no questions. All right, then I'm just gonna walk away. <laughs> That's all you can yeah. do. It was a lot. It was it was a lot. It was a lot to have them there surprise and, and just because it would be like either they walk away or they say, girl, let's leave. Right. Um, so then we have Tracy here. She's having quite a day herself. You know, she happens to meet oh, a fan day. who shows her this meme that pretty much implies that she got beat up at the um uh, reunion show. Why? She- <laughs> we were talking about that after we shot it. We were like, wait. Why are we saying that Tracy, that we beat the girl up? The girl beat up right? Tracy. Tracy did get knocked out. She did. So sis, sis is wow. big mad. She just want to vent, but the girl just want her phone back. She's like, okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> you got to so ask me. Corny. But you got to ask corny. me. <laughs> but they corny though. The amount of times she said corny. Oh, wow. and- it was like, oh, I'm over there. Time. I loved it. I loved it. It was like, hello. It's like every single time Tracy thinks she's on top, something knocks her back down. Like, like three knocks. Life be life on Tracy. Life be life I love it. Yes, so we they love really do. Her. We be rooting for Tracy. We really want to see her on top. She's an influencer. Like, it's, it's, that's just such a hard life. And, if you don't get on the the big new wave, like right yeah. now it's TikTok, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like all of them are running for TikTok, and then it's gonna be something else because now we're all stuck inside. So all these programmers are just making more apps. It's gonna be something else. I'm like, oh month. yeah, for sure. And they're all gonna run up from there, and then you know we forget about all the other ones, like all those famous Vine people. Who are they? Do you remember any of their names? <laughs> I don't. Nope. Yeah. TikTok, and I refuse to miss one. That's for the kids. That's for the kids. Yeah, let the babies have it. <laughs> what you said for TikTok? Yeah, that's for the kids. It is, but I like it. Mm-mm, I'll break my leg trying to do those I'll be dances. bothering my sister, like, teach me that one. Teach me that oh, one. You're going to break a limb, girl. You better leave that alone. <laughs> my back be hurting. Are you taking ibuprofen in? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll, and take I'll be sore. I'll be sore. You can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so Tracy and Veronica, they end up looking at, you know, the family photos, and they find Karen, Greg's sister, hiding in every single one of the photos in the background. So they're like, what is up with this girl? Like, why is she so different? The family is different, but she different, different. 
Nothing's like wrong here. Oh, another level. <laughs> <laughs> Something's wrong. Yes. And then the whole <laughs> dead stuff dog. What's and that? Family photos. What's that about? I'm leaving. I. <laughs> I think I would have quietly put the book down and left. Like, I'm not doing this. Right. You're like, I'm like, hey, Lane, I'm in the car. If you want to you come get in the car, we don't worry about it. We're leaving in about two minutes. Because they legit yeah. spoke to Lane about it. She was like, yeah. Like, girl, you know about this? Oh, <laughs> and you're agreeing to be fiance to this man? You oh, know this no. information? No, that's another red flag. <laughs> You ain't never just say forget it and just like oh, the <laughs> she said don't ask questions. She did mention don't ask she no did. questions. Don't ask no questions. We're just going with the flow today. Today is a go. No, okay. I would be looking at Lane like, girl, what? This is what? not normal. This is all so new for her. Everything's new. Oh, this so, ain't normal. Right. So Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> So Tracy grabs the crew and's like, as fun as it is to watch Lane sweat her way through this party, y'all, we gotta help her. Or at least tell her how crazy these people are. I like them. Of, of course, course you do. Vince in love with this Vince family. Vince is a thought. Vince is a thought. Vince is a thought. That likes money. He can be bought. Vince can be bought. <laughs> yes. I'm like, at this point, just uh, engage Greg's sister so you can be part of this family so bad. Yes. Like, he that's it. Care less. Come on. Oh, wow. I didn't even think about that. Yes. That's, really- that's what he should be doing. Mm-hmm. That would have been smart. Yeah. <laughs> He's not thinking. Right on in there. Yeah. A Greg. <laughs> um, but Tracy's the only one that's like, no, this is a mistake. We're her best friends. We have to keep 100 with her. But the whole crew's like, you know what? She's a big girl. Mm-hmm. It's not our place. We're just overreacting. They just gonna sit back and watch the train wreck. They're just going to watch it. Tisha, have you ever been in that like situation where your friend is like dating someone you don't like approve of, but you don't have you ever said anything to them about it? Um, I I really try to stay out of my friend's business unless they ask me for mm. advice because this is the thing. If you tell them that you don't like the person they're dating and then they break up and then they get back together, that dude is always like out to get you. Yeah. <laughs> and there you go. Your friend will judge you. They're like, I know you don't like my man. I'm like, mm. no, you don't like <laughs> You don't. <laughs> <laughs> you an asshole. Like, what do you want me to say? Yeah. So, I just really try. Unless my friends like, hey, what do you think about this? Does this seem right? Does it seem like he's treating me right? And my friends are the same way. I do have one friend that needs to shut the fuck up sometimes. <laughs> and we, <laughs> we all have that one friend. We all, we all have it. Like, bitch, that. <laughs> Why don't you worry about what you're doing? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I'm better with age, so that's cool. She's, yeah. she's more chill now. Because I had to, sometimes I would just be like, cool, so I'm not going to talk to you for a month because <laughs> you just seem like you don't like me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm getting. If I was in this situation, though, I would have told my friend that is too much. Yeah. The situation I have to ask, I can't. Because this is not normal. Mm-mm. It's not normal. There's nothing normal, and we're only we're we're still at the first few minutes when I'm at the party. And that's yeah, not right. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I just want to shake Lane. No, no offense, but girl, like, <laughs> what's with you and honesty? Like Lane, why can't you be honest? Like, she's she's low key delusional too. She's high key delusional. High okay. key. High key. High key. Okay. Because here's the thing. Believes, she believes that her and Greg could work out. <laughs> Look, even you gotta laugh. In this episode, in this episode, Lane believes that her and Greg could make it, even though she's been getting dicked down by Reggie. Oh all God. four episodes. All <laughs> four. All four. <laughs> all four. It's emotional. And she's always saying this is the last time. Lies. I never thought that while shooting, but now it's very easy to do. <laughs> No, she the episode. The episode, like, oh my god! Like, I was literally just in her mindset. Outside of it, it's insane to watch. Yes, it's like, wow. it's like, what is your life about? She's just doing her. You know, like if if she was a man, mm-hmm. you would be like, this makes sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, well, this makes sense. That's all. We just want to tell a little bit. <laughs> the double standard. Yes. Um. So Lane and. Uh, Greg's mom are in the kitchen. First of all, can we talk about how um, Lane refuses to wear this matching sweater? And every five <laughs> seconds, somebody's like, I found 
found it by the garbage. So. <laughs> but this is not a family reunion. Why am I wearing that shirt? Right. You're not my family. This is not a family reunion. Weird. It's weird. Everything's weird at that Everything party. Weird. No part of the party that's normal. Nothing. So Lane's mom is talking about, you know, cooking food for her husband that she can't even eat. But, but she's like, you know what? The key to a happy marriage is sacrifice. You have to do what you need to for the people you love. <laughs> and I'm like, I thought the key was like compromise to happy marriage. Yeah. I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. So and then they talk about Lane's business. And she's just like, you know, your little business is cute. But um, mm-hmm. make sure it doesn't distract you from what's important. Lane is confused. Like, what? Like, sis, you shady? You shady. <laughs> I'm just a little shady in this kitchen right now. <laughs> I cannot get a tan in here because the shade is so strong. It's so yes. strong. Mom. Right. So basically saying that, like, put your man first. That's the yeah. the premise of our conversation. Get married and pregnant and quit your job. And that's focus it. On so that business, that is a, that's a cute little hobby you got going on there. But, um... <laughs> Greg's happiness is more important. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, wishes she cursed her out because she don't want to be no mm-hmm. wind under nobody's ashy son's wings. Right. Um, but, uh, of no course, bad. of course, she doesn't. She just says, you know, thanks for the advice, but I don't know. Unwarranted that. advice. Ain't nobody asked you nobody for this asked advice. Nobody asked you no, I don't even know why I'm in this kitchen. I don't even know why I'm here. <laughs> I come to eat like everyone else. Everyone else. Here you are. Charming. Here you are, my ears. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, oh, you can't even eat the damn food you make. What's wrong with you? Are you in a cult? Like, what's right? happening? Right? This is weird, ma'am. This is weird. She's like a robot. <laughs> Stepford wives. Stepford yeah. wives. Oh. Yeah. Couldn't be me. Couldn't Mm-mm. be me. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We need to be supporting each other. Like, my future husband, like, we're supporting each other's dreams yeah. and compromising with each other. Like, we have to support each other. So what are you talking about? Yeah, and this is a shock to her because she didn't even know that Greg even expects something like this because they, yeah. they've been around each other for a good year, right? That's how long they've been together. Mm-hmm. And Almost. when has he ever expected her to, like, clean up after him and make his plate or anything like that? Yeah. I couldn't do any of that. I, I just, that's probably why my ass is super single. Because, like, as soon as I start Girl, doing join the club. Hey, you really got me all the way fucked up. I'm not your mom. And you definitely are not my dad. You don't be giving no bills over that. here. You're not so. that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and even at dinner time, Greg's mom was like, oh, here's Greg's plate. Make sure you make it for him. I was like, what, what am I supposed to do with this? Is he okay? What? Have women been doing this? Is this do women like randomly just make plates for men? And yes, they not. still do that. Yeah, yeah, they do. I have yeah. family functions, and I see it all the time. Not all, mm-hmm. but yeah, I yeah. see it all the time too. Wow, my family just does not do stuff like that. <laughs> like they like all the men respect the women and treat right. them like people. So like usually they take turns making each other's plates. Yeah. Also, I how is a man eating before me? I just don't. Isn't if we're following gender roles that are that have been assigned here since people like them so much, mm-hmm. wouldn't it make sense that a man would make a plate for a woman and like like help her? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just <laughs> no, because the woman is supposed to be the homemaker, and the man's just supposed to come and reap the just. Ex, he expects the woman to make the food and oh, serve him. Like okay, okay, yes, okay, yeah. Yes, I forgot about this. Okay, now, now that makes sense. Now it makes sense. I had to, I had to get the misogyny clear in my head. I was trying to. Sort of <laughs> I, mean, I had to really like dig through it, like, oh, but it makes sense. Okay. Yeah. That's wild. People be wow. Yeah. Because yeah. it's definitely like they grew up seeing and they grew up being taught like the woman has to cater to the man. I don't want to like shame people. Like if that's how no. they live, cool. If that mm-hmm. works for. You, Cool. If that man is taking care of you and he's lovely, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. But that should be something that Greg and Lane spoke about, not the mom mm-hmm. injecting herself and saying like, "Oh, you should be doing this." Yeah, let it just happen on game. Like, oh, I'm about to make my man a plate. Boom. Not just, oh, I expect you to make my plate. And no, yes, mm-hmm. yes. 
this is that's the thing. It's like it's not it's you're not a slave. Like, <laughs> like that's the thing. I just want to stress. You know? We don't do slavery in the United States anymore. <laughs> <laughs> So Veronica is talking to a man, okay? A man. Uh, a man, okay. Can we take no, that? Man. So fine. He was fine. <laughs> fine. He was. fine. He was. I have to pause it real quick. He was really beautiful in person. I rode over with him in the van to the set. And he, I was talking to him, and I was like, wow, you are just gorgeous. Like, I couldn't even hear stuff. <laughs> I need him back in season two. I need to see more of him. Yeah. Um, his name in the credits is Hot Cousin. <laughs> is it Hot Cousin? Yes, it's Hot oh, Cousin. <laughs> Love it. So Veronica <laughs> is talking to him and about like the grounding of the towels, tiles in the floor and everything. And of course, Tracy takes it upon herself to block her blessing and says, I'd be real careful if I was you. You see that crazy looking brother right there? <laughs> yup. That's her boo. And he get real jealous. Now don't let the hype fool you. He can scrap. Okay, bye. Who was scared? He really left. Like, <laughs> scared of that man right there? Like, no. That small thing. I would have to fight Tracy. Like, you messing up. <laughs> you messing this up for me, sis. Listen, so Tracy that having a day. That's why. Outside doing that? She did it from outside? Like, she tapped on the glass? <laughs> You are that petty. Yes. She's big mad. She's big mad. She was walking by and was like, is that is that her talking to a man? Oh Oh, no. no. Oh no. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. (laughs) She got a man already. (laughs) Not even you need Veronica. All of them. (laughs) So at this point, everyone at the party is like, okay, so that's her man. Copy. Um, and then that that lady was like, "Oh, you're not gonna make a man a uh, plate for your man." That's when Veronica had it. She's had enough. She had She's enough. had enough. Yeah. She made a public service announcement like, "This is not my man. This that is that man my- over there and I are not in a relationship. Please do not get it twisted. We're just having sex. That's it. Thank you very much. Enjoy your meal. <laughs> Enjoy your meal. That's it. Oh, and Elaine, so awkward, decided to bless the food. She could have left it alone. You could have just away. walked right away. The air had to be cleared. What are you talking about? <laughs> the air was dirty. No you one asked you. No. The air. We didn't need her to. <laughs> That's the story of the whole day with Lane is her every time she says stuff where you're like, you are just, you shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be here. I was be. So <laughs> clear you shouldn't be here right now in this house. I can't with her. She blessed the food. She blessed the food, and everything was fine, though. <laughs> sure. Sure. Not really. She, she kind of put something in the air. Right. It was still a little foggy in the air. She put yeah, something she in the air. Out. Some lights off. Later on, we see uh, we see Greg finally give her a proper proposal in front of his friends and family, and you know, Lane. Hmm, she, has no, she has no words. Like she's just saying words, but she has no words. Like no. there's no happiness. There's no joyfulness. There's nothing. She's just like, so this is what love is, and you know, and it's suffering. There, I said it. It's suffering. You guys are thinking it. You're looking at me thinking it. I'm saying it. It's suffering. So that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna suffer together. Yes, and get sick and, you know, probably die and end up in the cold, cold ground. And I'm willing to fight for that. That's what this ring means. So, yeah, I love him. If that's what love means. Thank you. She basically described love as like World War II, just like suffering, pain. She said, this is me settling and I'm okay with that. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) The secret that's not that's not in the show that was supposed to be. Oh, um, it was supposed to, there's supposed to be a fantasy version of that before that, and it was basically uh, like a Michelle Obama Olivia Pope speech about mm-hmm. being in love with her. It was very silly. And it ended <laughs> with everybody in the family holding up signs that said "Vote for Lane." I'm dead. <laughs> but it was really silly. It was very like, I love Greg, and Greg is the only person for me, and I'm not going to let anybody stop us. Like, it was stupid. It was mm. so dumb. <laughs> they couldn't for time. Unrealistic, because it's not true. Like, no. Yeah. She's not convincing nobody. Not even Nobody. Herself. Nobody. 
She don't know the words that's coming out of her mouth. She's just like, yes, this is um, a guy, I'm a girl, and um, (laughs) this is a ring on my finger. Mm -hmm. That was like the opportunity to be like, hey, guys, unfortunately, Greg, you're a great guy, but I'm not ready to marry you. Yeah. And thanks for throwing me this party, but honestly, it was a surprise. I didn't ask for this, so I'm just gonna get my friends. I'm gonna go. But you know, we needed. We're talking about Lane, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's real cute. That's real cute. But we're talking about Lane, girl. Yeah, I know. She, so she she said that speech. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> she going on with her life. She's just gonna continue this mess. Uh, awkward. <laughs> Let me say some crazy shit. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Going with the flow. That's mm-hmm. oh, girl. No, this is well, not. She the expecting time a standing talk. ovation for that speech. Like, girl, stop talking. Stop it. I, <laughs> I think she left her body during this. I know I did. That's how I did it. Because they were like they the direction they gave me. There's an original version that was a little more coherent that mm-hmm. was written, and they were like, no, do it. Do like some of the actual dialogue, and then. Um, just say, like, just make it as awkward as you possibly can. Like, think of what you're doing. Amazing job. Amazing job. Amazing. I'm convinced. <laughs> so me, <laughs> girl. So, that was so awkward. Like, I was cringing. It was awkward to see everyone's faces. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well. It was really disturbing. I was like, wow. And I was like, I'm going to be weirder now because you guys are uncomfortable making more. Right. Make <laughs> <laughs> So throughout the whole episode, we already know that Vince can be bought. Like he wants to be a part of the family. He's gonna sell his soul and anything to just be a part of the family. However, Dion, he wants nothing to do with these people. Oh he's been he's been dragging his feet the entire episode. Like, get away from me. Yeah. I wanna go he's home. <laughs> Dion always got an attitude. Always. always. So the light is going on, brother. It's okay. <laughs> um, so he finally pulls her to the side and is like, "What are you doing? Like, yeah, is this is your that? life? Is this the life that you really want? Like, what's happening?" Uh, unless you start taking it seriously, you're gonna end up living in Alpharetta, popping out doctor babies with a man that don't even know that you hate surprise parties and matching sweaters. Like, man, shut up. Like, mind your business. Like, let me <laughs> and fucking check off ch- the stuff on the checklist. Like, mind your business. Like, mm-hmm. it's not like a- shut up. <laughs> you tried to, to help. She's like, listen, y'all not happy and y'all single. I might as well be married and single and I'm married and unhappy. <laughs> like, <laughs> might as well. <laughs> yeah. like, who are you to tell me anything? She's like, why are you so mad? And I'm like, yeah, Deanna, why are you why so mad? Why are you so mad? <laughs> it's just because, you know, Tracy had pulled had a meeting and you wanted nothing to do with this. But now, and you now to the side in the darkness. <laughs> okay. And um what are y'all trying to say? What are y'all I mean, to we're going to put a pin in this. I things think are, things are happening. That's what we're saying. Things, <laughs> things oh. are developing. Okay. Sure. I was like, you seem like you're trying to say something. Like, what are y'all talking about, though? We're peeping things. We're just peeping like, things. There's you know, feelings. There might be feelings. We're going to okay. see. We'll have to see what happens with that. Oh, yeah. Yes. We shall see. Mm-hmm. We shall see. Who knows what could be happening in that Ooh. episode? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> So Lane is just she's accepting that you know she's coming to terms with the fact she's just gonna settle, find somebody to grow old with. Mm. But by this time, you know Greg has finally realized like she don't even want me like that because she didn't even tell her mom that we're engaged. Oh, oh yes, Greg was out there reflecting. She finally put that stupid shirt on and it's like, hey, look what I found in the garbage (laughs) in the trash can behind the house. I found it. First of all, he's putting all these things together. He's like, okay, first of all, that speech was number one. But number two, you're not even talking about a spring fall wedding. You're not Mm -mm. Instagram posts, not even trying to say yes to the dress. Nothing. Your mom doesn't even know? Come on. I told your mom. She was like, Matt and get first of all, she said, Who are you? Yes, what's that? Greg? Is that Greg from where? What is a Greg? What is who are you, sir? How did you get my number? You work at her store? What? She was hiring. Okay, you're her. What Excuse me? mom was confused, which is crazy because honestly, if you were about to, I know women for sure, like if they're about to get married. They got their Pinterest board ready. They Mm -hmm. go with their girls trying on dresses, doing all this stuff. Like, at least talking about it. Like, she loves fashion. So that's very scammy of Lane. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Yes. 
does. She ain't got no fittings or nothing. 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 She was too busy. That was a <laughs> Yes, fitting like, and I don't even have the ring or the man, but I got my Pinterest board. I got my, <laughs> I got my cover. When I start to like somebody enough, and I'm like, I'm in love with this person, and I'll give it a dumb name, and then as soon as they do something, they get on my nerves. They always embarrass me, and then I have to delete the board. I know. Oh God, <laughs> I have a general one that's like, whoever the groom is, this is the, this is the look. You know, I don't want to do it, but like, if, you know, my like soulmate love of my life is like, yeah. hey. I was thinking it's been like maybe we should do it and I'd be like all right cool well here's let me send you the pinners for exactly you. that's, that's <laughs> me. we here because that's me I'm like I'm already got it done whatever you want it's already set <laughs> but I don't really want to do it like I'm not pressed it's just mm-hmm. there for, to save time exactly it's already set got the colors got the theme we're good to go let's just get it done just have to insert husband that's, that's it, it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the only missing piece. But it's got to be the right one. We can't just throw one in there. We can't be laying in the bout. We can't be like, oh, just because you asked yes. Exactly. We cannot be laying in the bout. Mm-mm. So Greg is like over it at this point. He's like, I'm finally waking up and seeing these signs, these red flags, which these signs were around since like episode one. Yeah. Like, <laughs> how are you just now seeing them? Like, where you been? <laughs> where you been, sir? Um, but now she's kind of like, you know, I have my doubts, but I'm all in. And he's like, it's too late. It's too late. Like, too late to apologize. Bye, girl. (laughs) Bye, girl. (laughs) (laughs) And the family calls him in for charades. And at that point, I was like, karaoke, girl. Karaoke. Charades. (laughs) Karaoke. And I was almost a fan of the Washington. So they were singing Grease. And that's my, that's my karaoke part right there. I know, but Greg and Lane done messed it up. They messed it up. They should have no used love. that opportunity to say, hey, guys, we appreciate y'all for coming yeah. out. But, um, yeah. yeah. No, this is the problem with uh, Lane and Greg. They're just like, they're not, they don't live reality. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah, were both they... just like, let's just not upset anyone and pretend like everything's fine. Which is dead. Can be me. But, um, <laughs> you would have been like, hey, y'all, thanks for coming. Hey, y'all. So let's just cut the music real quick. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> Okay. Appreciate y'all for coming out. However, <laughs> this ain't happening. This ain't happening. <laughs> and I know you guys knew that, okay? Because I wasn't wearing a fucking shirt. I know y'all already peeped it because of my speech, but, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. but for real, I'm I'm really. I thought I could, you know, maybe I needed more time, but I got more time, and it's a no. It's gonna be a no. Yeah, it's still a no. I it's thought about it. It's a no for me, dog. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Another girl will feel better here. <laughs> not, me. not me so lane is hurt lane's hurt she's sad she decides what? um i don't know because she <laughs> knew deep down she did not want this man but that's fine um, <laughs> like who was that <laughs> uh, i think because she was finally uh, settling she was like i'm gonna settle and then yes. he was like nah he was like, no, yeah. I'm about to watch me and wants to be with me. Exactly. I respect myself too much. So now she, she goes, play victim. Go right. ahead, girl. <laughs> she no, goes what? crying to Red House for whatever reason. Yeah. I'm looking for a shoulder crying. He's like, I'm sorry, I'm not a good <laughs> shoulder to cry on, but you know, you can get a hard dick to sit on. I got that for you. <laughs> can we just talk? Talk. Yeah, I'm not really good at that. He left her in the hall. He said no habla inglés. And just he said you got the there. wrong <laughs> out. <laughs> Close the door on it. I know you from where? Left it on red. I just saw your dick 12 hours ago. How are you? I just saw your dick though. Like, you no, know me. He said it wasn't me. Uh-uh. <laughs> Shaggy. <laughs> Shaggy. My girls are in your house. What are you talking about? No, it wasn't me. Sorry. I have 15 pictures of your penis in my phone right now. At least 15. At least. At least 15. At least. <laughs> Probably did not know her. That was that was cold. That was cold. But it's like, this is not what I'm here for. 
That's yeah. not what he got hired for. She should have yeah. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I don't know, like, why. You do, she just she should have just went home. Like, why would you go to Red Or grab her girls and be like, y'all, I really need y'all right now. I like, need y'all. She That's doesn't it. know. She doesn't know. She's She has no idea what she's doing. She thought she would go there. And he would be like, "Oh my God! Well, this whole time, I've you know, I've just been thinking about you since you haven't been here, and I'm right. glad you're so coming here and let's Delusional. talk. And I'll be great." <laughs> and it's like, "No, man, Greg won't give you D like that. You get one or the other. I, although you can find a nice guy to give you. I yeah." yeah. <laughs> 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 Um, so yeah, is that's how the episode ends. Well, Tracy yeah. did meet her make a friend with Karen, so that was fun to see. Yes. <laughs> she peeped like Karen was something different from the, the jump. So <laughs> she was like, This girl needs somebody at this point. So Karen was like, you know what, let me <laughs> let me be around this girl. They became soul sisters, just like hanging out. She'll understand. I mean, Karen was taking care of her the whole time during the party. She brought her the drink. She yes. her the drink. He was her up. Her that time mm-hmm. Karen's an empath, but she, okay. she needed that she definitely needed that because she was having quite a day <laughs> i mean quite quite the season so far it's been nothing but bad the, nothing, every episode <laughs> i'm telling you um right. so let's get into our questions comments and concerns yeah. Yeah. all right um straight off the bat did or does Lane even really or ever loved Greg? I think Lane loves Greg like a friend. Okay. And I think um, Lane is is used to loving guys like friends and thinking that that's okay and it's a relationship. And because mm. of the age she is, she's like, well, I'll just marry this guy. I think that's what's going on. Like, I, I think Lane's been in love before and it's been really deep and it didn't work out and then she was like all right well that was really scary and then she started being like whatever i'll just date these guys that i don't like very much like when they were on that episode of the thought that counts and they were running down all the guys lane stated that she didn't even fucking like um, right that's her that's her steez like she's just like i'm just gonna like kind of settle and date like these guys Mm -hmm. that are like i love ish and that way they can't hurt me see no i can't do that I, I, I want to be in love, love, love. Yeah, love. and I want to want to be around that person, and I want to miss them. Like yeah. episode was it episode three? Was it episode? It was episode four when um Greg wanted to spend the day with her, and she was oh, like, okay. no. But as soon as her friends was like, let's spend the day, okay, like you can just yeah. show. Was the one being like let's spend the day together. Yeah. Like they weren't even trying to do that. She was like, let's do it. Let's make a day of this. Like, right. Let's- and Greg was like, please. She was like, oh, honey, okay, Heather. <laughs> I just hung out all morning. I can't hang out with you. That'd be weird. That'd be weird. Yeah. Because if you really love somebody or, like, happy in your relationship, you would want to spend the day with them. Like, Yes. I don't yeah. I don't think she knows what, like, or, or the importance of or, or realizes how big of a deal it is to be, like, in love with someone to marry them. I think that's true mm-hmm. of a lot of people our age because we get to a certain age and people expect things of us. I think especially of young black people, especially of young black women, it's very mm-hmm. like, well, you guys been dating for a year. Why don't you just get married and start having babies? Come on. What are you waiting for? Especially right. when you're in your mid-30s. So I mm-hmm. think it's just the timing of it all made it seem like it was a good idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But she knew but she didn't like him from the jump. When, 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 when he proposed <laughs> to her in the bed, and her instinct was to cover herself up with the blankets and say, I need time. There you go right there. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's the answer. It's no. Because I know it's that's when no. I proposed to me, like the person I'm thinking of that I love a lot, if he proposed, mm-hmm. I would fucking say yes before he even finished the sentence. Right. Right. Well, you, yes. Even, even yes. the dinner from the very first scene. You knew she it wasn't like she that. knew like he was boring and predictable, and she didn't want to be in this relationship, but she still stayed. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's just it's not he's not her her guy. That's not her person, you know. Like that's yeah. that's definitely a guy that she loves, but and I don't think she really realizes that he's not the person that person. 
Because, like, yeah. a lot of people don't really experience that or believe they can experience it. I've only experienced it, like, once. And I fucked that up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Pretty bad. Pretty bad. I fucked it up multiple times, too. It was a bunch of times. I was like, wow. Oh, man. He did, too. It's hard out here. It's hard out here. I don't know. Whatever. We might, it, might work out. it might work out. It might work out. Yeah. You never know. Never know. Never know. Did you um did you create a backstory for like her and Greg? Like how did they meet? Um, I had them meet just like through an app, through a dating app, because of how that really makes sense. it is. I can see that. I had them meet through like an app and then they like went on dates and you know, they just got comfortable. And also like mm-hmm. she was going through this transitional period. Um, like when she met Greg, she was still working in corporate America and then she quit mm-hmm. and um opened that store. And Greg helped her a little bit with it. So it was just like, oh, look at you. You're so supportive. You're a partner, whatever. But it was still really early in. Mm-hmm. Was yeah. Halfway through their relationship, that happened. And then okay. we fast forward, and they're not living together, which says stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, true. And they don't know how to have sex with each other. And they mm-hmm. go to this at all every week. And Lane does not communicate with him, and Greg does not communicate with her. They they don't nope. it work. It's just it doesn't work at all. But it's acceptable to both of them because they're like, but you know, we're together. We're both not single, so this we're attracted to each other. But that's not mm-hmm. enough. Not enough. Yeah. But it's over now. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a fan question here from Sheba underscore Baby underscore Diamande. She Ooh. said she has a, two questions actually. She says, um, this is for you. Does she know if there will be a season two? Because I'm so anxious for a season two. And also, I see a lot of myself in Lane. Are there any similarities she noticed between the character and herself? Um, we do have a, se- a second season. They just finished Woo! writing all of it. Yeah. Actually, um, like last week on Friday, they wrapped the writer's room. It's remote. Um, we are waiting for... Um, I don't know the government to do their job and uh, yep. <laughs> yeah, um, the coronavirus is an issue. We, we can't shoot safely until it's safe enough for us to shoot. Um, we, we won't be shooting that second season. That's what's mm-hmm. going on. Yeah. Unfortunately. Okay. Um, and we're not like, it, it just feels like we're not going to rush to do it. We're not going to rush. Yeah. To, like, well, this seems safe enough. Like it feels like the production company is being very respectful and waiting for it to really be safe. Even though we shoot in Atlanta, and mm-hmm. parts of Georgia um, have opened up, but uh, Keisha, the mayor of Atlanta, who we love, has said not nah to that. She said, "Don't do it." <laughs> that's who we, we don't listen to. Brian Kemp. We listen to Keisha Lance Bottoms over here. Yes, yes, um, yes. So yeah, that's where that is. Um, in terms of Lane. We're really similar in um, how, like, at my core, I'm so much like her, but I, a lot of her decision-making is crazy. Like, I'm a very type A person. I, like, follow rules, mm-hmm. and I follow a schedule, and I stick to that, and it makes me feel so good to do. Lane is so mm-hmm. all over the place and just going moment to moment, and I feel like I was like that. I used to drink a lot. Like, I've been sober for four years. And mm. when I drank, I was like that. So, <laughs> Lane is like drunk 20 year old me. That's when I made yeah. like the worst decisions I would say in my life was mm-hmm. and just being wasted and like just dating yeah. people that had no business breathing the same air as me, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That's good. Congrats, you know, on your sobriety. That's awesome. Yeah. It's, pretty, it's been pretty interesting in the quarantine. Wait, what's your sign? I'm a Libra. Oh, okay. But I have a Scorpio oh, moon, which was something Angel, who plays Veronica, mm-hmm. helped me discover. She was like, you got Scorpio energy. I'd be giving off, like, I give a little Scorpio here and there. So <laughs> <laughs> I can't follow the moon and the sun and the rising. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's why I got an attitude problem. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> yep, that's why. <laughs> my toxic behavior, it's related to my mind. I can't control it. <laughs> Um, okay, so we have another question from a listener at P. Sawyer Shoe or the Melanated Vi- uh, Vizier. 
says, Tanisha, what was the conversation like between you and Felicia regarding who Lane Roberts is and what some of her path will be? I'm so interested in the relationship and the trust that's needed between a writer and an actor in order to tell a great story. From Patrick. Wow, that's a great question. Um, I'm really lucky because Felicia was so open to me doing whatever I wanted because she was just like, you're her, you're Lane, you're Lane. And also Felicia mm-hmm. is Lane. Like the first time we met, um, we were in uh, one of the director's offices with Devon, and we both were knocking mm-hmm. shit over on the table trying to give each other a hug and be like, oh, my God, oh, oh, sorry, oh, my God, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, you are both lame. He was like, what the fuck? Y'all are the same person. Um, so, like, Felicia was very trusting in what I would do with her work, and it was, it was never, mm-hmm. like um, – I don't know how to phrase this. It was never like a, look, let me help you because you don't know what you're doing. It was just right. like, what do you think, Tanisha? And then if I had questions, I would be like, what do you think this about this? And she'd be like, girl, shit, I don't know. I just wrote this shit. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> It was stuff. And then when we got closer to the end, um, which, so I'm not going to spoil anything for you. I would be like, so this is what she's really doing? I'm like, is this what, is this by mistake? She was like, no, not by mistake. She chose to do this. I'm like, for real? it makes sense sense. so that was um the thing but she's an amazing uh collaborator and director and writer Mm -hmm. producer it's it's nuts because she really did let me do whatever I want that was it took uh Felicia and Devon probably like the first three episodes to let me know I didn't have to do what I was taught in acting class because that's what like they drill into your head in Los Angeles you pay all this money and these teachers tell you the reason you're not booking is because you're too much mm-hmm. like yourself, which is bullshit. Like, that's the reason why you book things. So right. stuff would happen. They would be like, you know, you can play this much more. You can play, not to, not to be corny, but bigger. Like, you can just be more broad yeah. and bring more of yourself to it. And then when I realized that, I was like, oh. And I was like, this, they were like, this is a safe space. Like, do whatever you want. If you do too much, we'll pull you back. But, like, please mm-hmm. do. And once I let that shit loose, it was just, it was, it was all, it felt amazing. It, it, yeah. it was empowering to work with her, honestly. Yeah, I think the acting on the show, I think that's why the show is so great because it's like organic. Yeah, like, it's real. Definitely. Like, I can see myself, I can see my friends and like some of the story. It just seems like I'm just watching like some friends. Like, y'all are really friends. It's just organic. And that was like the vibe. Like, that's what they wanted. Anytime we would start to sound sitcom or like the scene would get like stilted because we all audition for sitcoms and stuff normally. And this is like single cam. So it's very different. Mm -hmm. Um, They would just be like, all right, let loose. All right. Why don't we just improvise this whole scene and see what happens. And, and it would just, it would still work because we still had all the chemistry and we still understood the jokes and we're all very funny. Um, Mm -hmm. So it's just really beautiful. Like they're Felicia and Devon are just great. I'm saying, I'm making sure I'm including Devon because I did not tag him in something recently. And he wrote Uh crying at his computer (laughs) (laughs) he felt left out (laughs) just in case he listens to this on Wednesday (laughs) he better listen Um, so we have another, uh, listener question from just us, just us, the film's head. I'm related to bigger, but, um, he says, will there be a second season of I love Becca and Lucy? And what can we expect if so? Oh, wow. That's interesting. I haven't heard about that show in a long time. Um, (laughs) when did you do that show? I did that show, I think three years ago. It was a digital series for Warner brothers. It was Mm -hmm. like this understated comedy about women of color. Um and <laughs> and it went to South by Southwest. It was very nice. very well received there, and then kind of nothing happened with it. It was just kind of like okay. thrown up on YouTube, um, to watch, and it was it was kind of um, disappointing in the way because we thought that it was going to be on a platform that Warner Brothers was developing. Yeah. I don't know what happened with that, but it ended up just being a YouTube show. Um, mm-hmm. It's beautiful. I'm very proud of it. Um, I don't know if they're going to do a second season of it. There was talk at one point um, that it was going to be a half hour series and that there was like movement on it, like th- like mm-hmm. two years ago. And um, then it just kind of stopped. So I don't, I don't really know. Like it, I feel like stage 13, Warner Brothers, they like will post little throwbacks about I love Beck and Lucy. And I'm like, okay. oh my God, what is this about? And it's them being like, 
yeah, we're going to make another season. It's just them being like, remember this show? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Throwback Thursday. <laughs> Throwback Thursday. Remember this show? <laughs> the show on? We just wanted you to remember it, that that happened. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> and we want you to comment and like it, and that's it. Thank you. Right. Thank you for back. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna get so much oh, yeah. this podcast. I'm just way too comfortable saying all kinds of shit. <laughs> listen, that's, listen, that's what we do here, okay? We spill the tea. We we tea we love it on the floor, okay? The whole thing. Of tea. <laughs> <laughs> love it. I love it. I love it. Ouch. But yeah, I don't know um, what's gonna happen with that. We'll see. Okay, but it's still on YouTube. It is still on YouTube. All the episodes are up there. It's free to watch. Um, it's a it's a short digital series. So if you watch all the episodes, I think there's ten. It's only an hour mm-hmm. long. It's like a movie if you watch them all back to back. Oh, okay. We're going to add that to our list. There's not a lot of black people in it. I don't know. <laughs> I just <can't> oh. say. <laughs> well. Speaking of black people, you know, I, I really like that, you know, Bigger bigger is on a platform that is for black people. So I'm curious as to, you know, who are some of the black actors that um, you're inspired by or were inspired by when you were younger? Mm-hmm. Um, I so I just got into acting in my twenties. So really, really looking. Uh, yeah, it's it was really mistaken that I became an actor. I found it while I was in New York, and I actually did not take my career as an actor seriously because I was a comedian at the time. Um, until I watched the series premiere of Scandal, and I'm so I'm watching Scandal, and I'm watching Kerry Washington like play this like badass that's yes, like yes, that walk. Like, yes, you walk. <laughs> And just like yelling at white men in their faces, <laughs> yeah, listening to her, and nobody was disrespecting her, trying to sexually assault her, mm-hmm. or like, not, like talking down to her. And I was like, "Wait, are we really writing this kind of stuff for black women now?" Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, "Yes." Thing? And then how you know with murder came, and I was, and then all these other things started happening. And but Carrie, in general, just the way she handles herself is so beautiful. She respects um, her craft so much. She respects other actors so much. She respects the work she does so much. She's so picky about what she does. Um, the way she is with her family, like, she's very private. Mm-hmm. Um, no one knows how her kids look like. Right. I love to it. And day. we don't need all that. You're not a reality star. You're an actor and you're a right. storyteller. So you don't need to exploit your family to make more money. Also, she's got a ton of money. She's got a production company. All of them do that, do that. Not to judge them. But mm-hmm. I think there's a point where you need to be like, this is my life and then this is my acting life. It's kind of weird yeah. when, like, your husband's also an actor. That makes it weird. Um... True. Yeah, I just I really admire that about her, and and like I've listened to a lot of her interviews. I listen to tons of actress interviews because I love just hearing their journey, and um, mm-hmm. hers is just really honest. And she's always just trying to um, tell a story and truthfully, mm-hmm. and it's really cool. I don't know. That's that's my dorky answer. I don't have a. There <laughs> 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 you go. You win, guys. I'm a fucking. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Would you ever? Be, oh, sorry, wait, would you ever yeah. be pr- interested in producing or directing, or do you want to go oh. back into comedy at some point? Oh, comedy. Um, I don't have anything to say as a stand up anymore. Um, and I really didn't have anything to say when I was a stand up. To be honest, that's why you can't find any of my stand up anywhere. It was not that. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's be real, since we're spilling tea. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but no I would love to produce and I'm actually writing some stuff uh, directing I don't know because that's really hard and um, actors are batshit crazy I don't think I need to <laughs> you know what I mean I'm, 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 I do it I'm trying people's nerves when they direct me so I ask a lot of questions and like sometimes they take it as me being like snarky or whatever and mm-hmm. it's because um I just, I want to know what I'm doing. Like, if I ask what the shot is, I'm not trying to, like, challenge anybody. I just want to know, like, if it's yeah. close-up or if it's wide. Because if it's close-up, you're going to see something different than when it's wide. And, like, what I, I'm, right. it's a lot of stuff. And some directors are sensitive and get offended. Oh, yeah. If you oh, ask yeah. them to be questions. <laughs> <laughs> I just and it's not fun, because then they try to get mm-hmm. back. But we're not going to talk about it anymore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're not going to talk about that. No, that's true. That's so true. Because I produced a couple of digital series now, and like when actors act 
the director questions or even anything. It's kind of like, sometimes it can be tension on yes. set. So that's well, true. I'm God, how dare you ask me? And you're like, hey, I'm just- Right, you're challenging me. We're doing it together. It's us. And I can't, you can see me on the screen and I can't see me. So if I ask you what the shot is, I just really want to know if it's- Just a simple question. It's simple. Yeah. And say it nice and slow. <laughs> you're a bitch. So- <laughs> <laughs> Um, so if Lane was your homegirl, what advice would you give her? I would tell her to go to therapy. I would be like, sis, here's my therapist's information. Please work through whatever is is causing you to feel like you have to be in this relationship that you don't want to be in. Mm -hmm. Or if you feel that you don't want to be in it, let me tell you all the proof and evidence. You have this dude's penis in you every day. That is not every day. Place. Like, is that all right? Are we? And I mean, they tried to tell her that they tried to like. Tracy was like, "Look, like it's not cool that you're like cheating. Like that happened to me. It didn't feel good." And she was like, "Well, this is different." And then just was like, "Whatever." Yeah. We'll talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> and then went because the one friend, friend, like, yeah. Yeah. So then the, I feel like in the beginning, the friends were like, oh, do your thing, girl. Have fun, have fun. Then it was it's like, for okay, one no. night, have fun. Now, one it, night. That's, <laughs> I know her. I know her damn well. She has never done that before. And that man was too fine and had too much penis on him for her to do that for one night. Okay? Too much. He's seven feet tall. Dang. He's seven feet tall. No, he's not. Terrence is six, six, five, I think. Excuse me? Yeah, he's tall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Terrence Terrell is six foot five. Oh, I heard. Yeah, all I heard was so. five. That's why I was like, "Excuse me." <laughs> My, oh no, 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 no! <laughs> Y'all are really messy, and I'm not participating. I'm not doing it. Y'all not giving me food. Y'all not giving me food. <laughs> I'm telling you how tall he is. <laughs> if he went to a doctor and they they put the thing on the top of his head and they were like, "Terrence, this is how tall you are." That's what I was got about. it. I heard something else. I was like, whoa. I know you did. Whoa. I, know, I can tell you. <laughs> I'm done with y'all. Y'all are mad. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah, Lane definitely needs some therapy. She, she got to talk really to somebody. Therapy's great. It just really helps you be mindful of the things you're doing. Because she's way too casual about all this, like, top. Mm-hmm. Way too lax. This is all. It's like, wake up. <laughs> I need to see the scripts for season two. Like, I really want to know where Sis's head is at. Like, <laughs> I cannot wait for oh, season y'all two. Like, oh my god! I know we're not yeah. done. Look, see, that's how oh, that's how good the show is. I'm already like, when this we only got five more episodes left. I'm like, I need more. Wait, and see I need more. See the rest of the season. I cannot wait to hear the episodes. Oh my oh, gosh, I'm excited. <laughs> I, know about, I, I feel like it's going to be crazy. Like, I've been trying to avoid, you know, because a lot, a lot of people watched already. So you see, like, people talk about the finale, the finale. I'm like, okay, let me not read these. But oh, yeah, don't I'm, read I'm anything ready. yet. Don't, you, you have your own feeling. <laughs> I know, I know. Entertaining. It's going to be great. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait. Can't wait. All right, Miss Tanisha. Oh my God, this is so much fun. Yes. Thank you so much for having yes. me on here. You guys are so funny. Um, I cannot wait to listen to the other episodes that aren't my show of your podcast. Thank you. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you so much. Oh, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you came on. Um, really enjoy Bigger. You're amazing. You're hilarious. Shout out to the rest of the cast. <laughs> These are all shout out the to the cast them. members. You got Tristan oh. and Chase and and yes, and yes. Angel and Terrence, all and of them, and Angela, Angela well, Co. And- <laughs> <laughs> We're hoping to get some of them on the next couple of episodes. So okay, We're working just DM on that. All them. They'll do it. Yeah, I'm gonna DM them. We're gonna make it happen. Thank you. So tell us um, what else you got going on, where people can follow you, and anything, any last um, things you well, want right to say? Right now, I'm just stuck in my apartment. Um, <laughs> right. So I'm not working on anything. <laughs> so I don't know, while we're doing this True. podcast, I got an audition email for what it is. I can't say what it is, but I'm going to tell you what is it a movie? It's a movie! Ooh! Okay. Yes! Ooh. Yes! Ooh. yes. Ooh. It's, it's dope. It's 
Okay. So anyway, maybe that movie that I just got an email. <laughs> <laughs> um, at Come Tanisha on. Long everywhere across the board, uh, Twitter. Okay. I don't have TikTok. I'm not on TikTok. But Twitter, Instagram, get at get me. We can be friends. I will love to talk to people about the show. Give me advice about my life. <laughs> Give me advice about my life. I hate that shit. I'm lying. Mind your business. Okay. <laughs> no, mind your business. Mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, awesome. Thank you so much, Thank you, Tanisha. Tanisha. Um, so if you enjoyed this episode, please make sure you are subscribed on all um, podcast platforms and following us on all social media platforms at Seriously Podcast, S-E-R-I-E-S-L-Y Podcast. And stay up with the conversation. Until next week, guys. Bye. Bye.